Well, we'll move on a little bit now. Yeah, these say these all built 1860s. See, they still got some of the original, original cast iron drainage pipes there. Government timber line, it says. You can see on, you can see on there, it says WD War Department. That's more recent, supported by the, by the Heritage Lottery Fund. Well, we've moved on a little bit now. Yeah. Another, that's another like a little little tunnel that goes goes through like tunnel underneath an earthworks and like through to the other side into the woods. Somewhere you'd like to come in the dark. Get in the middle, see inside the wall. See, see what? See what? Got big iron doors on there. Like, don't think they move now, but these pair of big iron doors rotate and shut it off. They're about four inches thick. And you come out this side and you're like in the woods. So the footpath goes up that way. The footpath goes over that way. And go back up there, but we're gonna go back through the little tunnel. It does say keep off. You can walk through here actually. better explored the summer when it's not so muddy. There's mud everywhere at the moment. It's supposed to be snowing next week so I thought I'd get out and about a bit today. <laughs> Might be doing a snow video next week. unique area this actually because you got you got basically you got the countryside over there in this like, little road and over that side it's like a big industrial estate all across there you can probably see the factories up through the trees that's a big industrial estate all through there a cycle route as well so probably be going for a few bike rides in the summer I do ride a bike not lately though I haven't been on a bike for a long time but I do ride a bike I'm hoping to get it out a bit more in the summer go for a few little rides
up here there's a bit, bit more of the old fortification and if you can see it up there there's stuck through stuck through the trees there it's like, a, like another brick brick sort of embankment thing up there just along here what they call what they call bastion four Obviously, because it used to like, obviously belong to the army and that, it's got called Bastion 4, casemate. This is similar to what we've just been showing you down the other side, only it's like, this is kind of like the other end of that piece. This is like the western, western end of this area. Much the same really, I think this is all used as like workshops and small businesses and that. Looks like it's all abandoned, but it's not. It's actually all doors and that a lot, but it's actually in use. Many years ago, it used to it used to continue on those fortifications. It used to continue on it used to continue on up this road. There used to be like, I think there was buildings that were built like in the Second World War and that, but they've all been taken down. There's, it's just like factories and stuff over there now. Where do you go? Relic, relics from the not, relics from the eighteen fifties. There's a broadband cabinet next to it, so it's one extreme to the other, isn't it? Really. <laughs> Right. Go back the other way now. Just going back the other way now. Coming back down the other way now, so I'll conclude that conclude that video here and see you on the next one. Bye.